Get some microphone so, checks, ain't it? Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. 21, 21. Bitch. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me hear you say something for me. 420, 420, what's happening? All right. Um, I put a lot of tequila in here. That's what be happening. Ooh. I don't know. What, what, it's something about this room I've been, or something, I've been doing folks. It too. Up I didn't even bit. I didn't mean I to like, well, and I sipped it. I was like, oh God. That's a big bottle too, though. That don't help you. It got a big opening. I've been seeing everybody drink that bottle and I don't even know what's Jeez. the big deal about it. Like, Costco? Costco? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They said it's supposed to be the same thing as what well, the vodka's supposed to be made by Grey Goose and the tequila made by somebody else. It's another name brand and it's supposed to be the same shit. Yeah. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Yeah. See what it's talking about? It's a big ball that lasts a while. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that. That's the it one everybody goes to. Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been seeing it everywhere. I'm like, what's this a little new song? What a what a um what are we introducing you as? You need a love. As? Yeah. Just need a love. We're making it happen, Cal. Oh. I should have put on socks. My ankles cold. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never experienced this before. It's just my ankle. I ain't never, heard about <laughs> I ain't never experienced this. It's the first, but I just realized, like, my ankles. Cold. My ankles. <laughs> Maybe because of the vent under the yeah, yeah, it's the one under the chill. Nah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's no, one of these. No, because nah, I gotta nah, figure it out. Cold ankle happening. I feel happening. like this is a medical condition if I can't just figure out why I did it. <laughs> No, he got cold ankles. He's gonna be here, my brother. Check on, right? Keep a thermometer in my pocket. This nigga tell me how your ankles feel. (laughs) 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 And they have on three pair of socks. Mm, Not ankle socks, though. Hell no. Up to here. You usually do it. That's what you usually have on them. Long I do have on long socks most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I almost did this here in my Crocs. Like, I forgot yeah. I had they on my Crocs see. just now. But they might. I might put my foot on the table. Nah. I'm probably not. Mm-hmm. It's only the second time I've ever done that. I'm going to say, you don't put your foot on the table. <laughs> I feel like my mama watch. <laughs> so, got them feet off the table. Off the table. <laughs> I think this is well, it's your house now this time. Did he? Oh! You can feel oh, it. Oh, oh, oh! He's going to drink away. Man, all right. He probably <laughs> flew all kind of shit in your drink. <laughs> That's why you don't put your feet on the table. Yeah, just... <laughs> makes sense now. It makes sense. Fuck it with you. It is my house, though. <laughs> it's your table, y'all. Okay. Goddamn, fuck that shit. We ready for it? Uh, Yeah. It don't, it don't you don't sound like, like you ready. <laughs> it don't sound like it at all. You sure? Right. <laughs> we close it. <laughs> you said, I don't uh, think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Something's I'm ready. I didn't know what your title was, and I was about to try to think of one. And then I was oh. like, nah, it seemed like you probably got one. Man, I, I was just going to say yeah. special sessions. Yeah. Need, need, need a love. <laughs> now I'm confused as to what's ready? happening. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Gather myself. All right. Special sessions, need a love. Take 17.2. <laughs> hey. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another one, baby. You know what this is already. Y'all know what this is. Let me tell you what this is. This is a special session. You know. Brought to you by yours truly, the Smoking Permitted Podcast. Hey, you know. Bob. Huh? I bet you some of these people watching, they clicked on it, they don't even know what a special session is. Y'all don't know what it is? They thought it was going to be a regular show. (laughs) You thought it was going to be a regular show? They ain't even see her sitting right there. You ain't see her sitting there? (laughs) Tell, tell them what a special session is, Bob. Special sessions is when hey, us, the smokers. You do nope. shit. You know how hard it was to get that high? That okay, just, I, I can't do it no more. Um, special sessions is when we, the smokers, from the Smoker Permitted Podcast, find somebody or see somebody or be aware or alert of somebody who is around us, near us, 
or on our radar for some reason, form, or fashion. And we want to know a little bit more about them. And we want you to know a little bit more about them. So we bring them to you for that very reason. And right now, we've done it again. This is a special <laughs> session featuring Nita Love with the Smoking Permitted Podcast. Yeah. And we in this bitch, you feel me? All real. To my right. That's me, ain't it? It's the Honorable Reverend Cato <laughs> Jackson. How y'all doing that, though? Hold your applause to the end. I'll be here all night. <laughs> I'm Bob Jacquez. The champ is here. And like I said, building. For the first time, hopefully not the last. We got need a love, y'all. Say what's up to the people. What's up? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? I'm so excited about being here. Y'all got me yeah. laughing. Oh, right, I'm like, right. ain't got like sore cheeks when I leave. I'm just that's smiling and laughing. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's a good sore. I ain't that's mind. Good, that's mine. There's only a couple good sores in life, and yeah. one of them is from laughing. <laughs> uh, 256 788 7339. Ask the smokers at gmail.com. Email uh, you know, you know what the deal is, man. Fuck with us, man. We got all the playlists for you to see. We say silence the phone. She got two of them. Oh, you on silence? I did. One is a drug you a half silencer. You a drug dealer? Yeah, I'm not a drug dealer. Thing. I can get you caught up too. <laughs> them little things. You be like, dang, I thought I'd get them both, and I ain't get them both that time, and they got me. Yeah, okay. I'm in here. I, I am sorry, y'all. That was not supposed to happen. Let me turn this thing off. You're not a drug dealer. Yeah. No, I'm not a drug tell, dealer. Tell the people what you are, though. <laughs> <laughs> tell them what you are. Convince them. <laughs> now, I, I, my mama say anybody with two phones. Ain't no good. Phones. So what's happening, y'all? I'm Nita Love. I am Huntsville's love and sex coach. That's what I do. A I love do. and sex coach. Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> well, man, the game coach. All right. All right. Yes. So a sex coach, like, like if they read to do it, you would come to their house and coach them, like, <laughs> right? Like they ain't never did it before. You'd be like, just go here. No, well, wrong, wrong flag. <laughs> I wouldn't play. necessarily have to be there. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, but I Video am for check. enhancement <laughs> for people that's looking to like get into different um, things that don't want the vanilla style sex life. Yeah, they'll have. Oh, you're like enhancement a, and enrichment. A kink. Uh, a kinkologist. <laughs> okay. It's, it's a sexologist. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, nope, sex regular. I say, it's, you, it's you not just... You said somebody wants spicy shit, so yeah, you a kinkologist. Or intimacy, like they're struggling with intimacy like or like connection. Hugs. Yeah, like they don't like to be touched and stuff like that. I don't like, like motherfuckers that. touching. Why? What can we do about that? Because I don't like <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, I don't really like it. <laughs> no, you got to love some. Like, I'll physical touch is like, important. That long enough. Get off me. <laughs> Get off me. All right. We hug. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Get some boundaries. But yeah, but a healthy form of connection. Because some people can touch you too much. And it's kind of like, okay, you're doing too much. But, you know, just kind of helping people with that portion. And then the love is just connection. Like, knowing how to be romantic. Knowing how to date. Like, these are things people are really out here struggling with, which is just... What, what does that mean, how to date? People don't know how to date? Oh, no. What was... What's a bad day? <laughs> Tim, a, bad day. a bad day. Um, I've heard ready. a lot of different things. <laughs> so, like a person that's just sitting there and they like on their phone the whole time. Like you be, took time yeah. to to take them out. Well, that's okay. both male and female. Like, and then you just on your phone the entire time. We hear like, yeah. not saying nothing. You just on your phone. Like, I would feel like I waste my money, especially if I paid for it. Would waste you pay my, for that? I ain't paying for it. You pay I for that? I ain't gotta waste my money. <laughs> If you on your date at dinner, I hope you got Apple Pay on there. Damn. If you on your phone at dinner, push Damn. the button on the side twice. Yeah, like, I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you know, that somebody that's, you know, expecting sex at the end of a date, that's what ladies talk about. What's wrong okay. with that? Huh? Huh? You said, what's wrong with it? <laughs> yeah. You don't... Most people, well, I don't know. People say that's a bad date because it puts pressure. Oh. Okay. Pressure or, it, or okay. expectation. Yeah, you you put some day. pressure on it. Yeah, yeah. That, that, expectating. That'd be weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be kind of yeah. hard-wordy. So, like, I put... Right. Now, you know right. like, you know what's happening after this, right? It's about an hour and six you minutes until we're fucking, right? It's about an hour and six right, minutes. Right, right. <laughs> you count down the minutes until we go be yeah, in this right. room together. You know, so, like, yeah, people nah, consider stuff like that, you know... And just people not really knowing how to just communicate, date, talk, you know, yeah. plan something outside of just Netflix and chill. Yeah, yeah. Netflix I heard this big now. Netflix and chill. Yeah, like I, 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 I used yeah. to way out. No. I used to go on dates for real. Like we gotta <laughs> go somewhere. They didn't have Netflix though. 
They ain't had Netflix, but yeah. they had cable. You could you TNT and TNT. If it was Netflix, you would have on demand anything. You no, um, we. I gotta know you before you come in, uh, in, in you here. Going to theirs. I don't. I don't feel safe over you there. Bring somebody <laughs> to yours. I mean, after like three dates. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Right. That's three hotel dates or three like dinner dates. No, I three. Days. <laughs> if it's been three hotel days, you can't never come over here. <laughs> you can't come over here. Oh my god, y'all are silly. But yeah, all of that. Like Netflix and chill is hard or situationships right now are taking over. Situationships. Yeah. We love good. You know, that's that's the new thing. And then people be like situationships, which is you know, as I've been doing single coaching and getting do singles mixers in Huntsville, that comes up a lot. Because people have all different definitions of what a situation ship is. Oh what y'all think yeah. a different situation ship is? I feel like a situation ship means we fucking. <laughs> That's it's, what. It's, it's, no. Go. It's right. But they, 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 uh, now people turn them into emotional connections. Especially, you know what see, I'm saying? Yeah, that's a, a relationship. That be fucking be having emotional connections and people can't. you in a relationship, man. Yeah. That, <laughs> That's what they say. Well, every no, nah, everything and every interaction with a human is a relationship. It's so a bond. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a right. bond. But they're turning situationships, See, but not having you. accountability for them <laughs> is what makes them a situationship and not a relationship. No okay, then. Count your friendships. Yeah. <laughs> have extra That's my friend. Yeah. yeah, that's my friend. We're going to have all these ties. I'm going to treat you like you my... My boyfriend or my girlfriend, but then we not together. We don't go together, but we it go together on real what bad. You say, what, you, <laughs> what all you doing is in the treatment, under the treatment umbrella. Because I feel like if you're doing more than fucking, you finna be in a relationship. What's more, more than with fucking? no title? More, more than fucking. Like y'all can't just hang out no time. No, you on your way to you like <laughs> that person that. Yeah. See, that's what you nah, would say I a situation ship, but I was told one person that was like, oh, it could be a healthy situation ship. I don't think I don't think you I think you, you took a, <laughs> I think you could yeah look at this they're all relationships it don't matter I mean uh, you yeah, right but like what I'm a saying? romantic relationship no 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 you can go you can go and enjoy the same activities from time to time outside of y'all fucking and y'all not be in a relationship but somebody gonna catch feelings you can't do that too often. and then you be like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Why didn't we look? What are we talking about? All right. So situations come, situationships come up a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, definitely. Yeah. Where um, where where are you from? I am from Highland Home, Alabama. Wait, Wait a second. Ain't it what? Repeat. Highland Home. Highland Home. That's the name it's of not, the, the it's town. All one word too, as you said. It. Yeah, Highland Home. Okay. Alabama. I went to Highlands Elementary in yeah, Huntsville. <laughs> yeah, Huntsville. No, no, no. Huntsville. It's, no, it's, it's like, down okay. towards Montgomery, but past like the whole like going towards the beach. But yeah, you did say okay, you country girl. Yeah, I'm country country, like Bedwood country. Oh, so what was it like growing up there in Highland Home? I ain't never, What's the closest city that I might that somebody that's never Montgomery, Montgomery, Montgomery. How, how Mer- far is that? That's what they call it. Oh, they do. They do. They do. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It took me a minute to put it together. It was my friend, yeah. So what, originally like from an hour there. away, like three hours from Huntsville. No, from my gun. Oh, from my space, yeah. my thirty minutes. So you're like outskirts. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, so right like there. Huntsville, right Athens, there. you know where we are, yeah. like the outskirts the cater, of yeah. yeah, the cater. So it'd be same thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm from Huntsville, nigga. You from Brownsboro? That's how they treat us, nigga. You from Highland Home? Chill no. out. Do y'all get treated like that? That's how we got treated. Yeah, no, I'm not from. They used to. They used to because the tags here. They would go by your county or something or your city. Right. So the first couple of numbers you would know from that person's tag. Who was well. They would yeah. be doing that shit. For, they don't do it no more. Yeah. yeah they still do it. If I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't know it was a secret though. Yeah. Right. I, rep, I rep my holly home because that's where my roots are from. But people, most of the time I tell people I'm from Montgomery. But I don't like claiming Montgomery because I'm not a Montgomery person. So what was it like in Holland Homes? Like you grew up with a lot of family, cousins, sisters, brothers, mom, we, dad. Yeah, was... we had 18 acres of land. Okay. Um, hey, uh, get out of here. Uh, and we all Damn. stayed together. So my cousins, my aunties, my uncles, everybody in the same plot of land. 
Dang. And we would just ball Y'all out. Y'all had the, you was from the one stoplight city. Yeah, like, yeah, one stoplight, one school, one okay. mailbox. We all just share the same. I'm just playing. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Barefoot. You played outside barefoot oh, a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We didn't play. We didn't play. Again, you know, in the country, you ain't got no food. You ain't yeah. got nothing to do. So no we, shoes. look, you got to, you got to, you got to have fun. You just got to create an imagination if you live where I'm from. You got to, yeah. you got to get out there for real. And I couldn't imagine. We have um, neighbors and stuff. We have cousins. Man. I'm gonna play with my cousins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went to my grandma's house. It was like that. I hate. I ain't like the country. What? I mean, no, no. It's boring as hell in the country. Man. I didn't have no imagination. <laughs> I wanted to do the real shit. I don't. Uh, I can't imagine. That stick is not an airplane, cousin <laughs> Carl. It's like I don't give a fuck. How many noise did she make? With it? <laughs> it's not an airplane. Yeah, like you could shoot. They shoot. Nobody flinching. It was Hell. people didn't lock their doors. Like it's just real. Like uh, you know, like that was. was you, you know, where, where were you in the age rankings? Were you like in the middle of the kids that y'all was around? Were you the older one? Nah, we were the youngest. We were the babies of the me. I have oh. a twin sister. Okay, then. So we we were what the is, last what is two ends. Kinds of twins? Fraternal, fraternal and um, identical. And- Okay. Which one are you? Fraternal. We don't look nothing right. alike. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Which one? Are you the oldest? I am. Three minutes. Three minutes, everybody. <laughs> she said Three minutes. Proudly. Three I minutes am. old. <laughs> I'm older than I you. I am. I used to make a weight on our birthday. No. You first. Yeah. You got three it's, minutes You got three, left. four minutes. She'd be mad as hell, Man, y'all. Right. She, and on her hands, like, <laughs> left. I'll make her wait. Like, you gonna wait. Nobody tell you to be the baby. Damn. She got treated like the baby. She gonna wait, Nobody the whole. She gonna wait. Yeah. <laughs> Slow ass. Man, all right. You should have been doing what you was doing. You should have been paying attention. You seen the light. Go to the light. Time to go. And you wasn't she ready. She still treat like the baby. Shoot. She's wait them three minutes now. <laughs> But yeah, oh, that's what it was. We we kind of were the last the last little ones out of school. Me, her, and my cousin Juicy. <laughs> okay, Juicy. Juicy, Uh-oh. Juicy. Just call it Juicy Fruit. Juicy <laughs> Fruit, man. All right. <laughs> hell, 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 hell. Juicy, <laughs> do something to somebody. <laughs> yeah, she did. Man, what? She did. She threw a couple people up against the wall. No. Yeah. Nah, she. <laughs> Damn, Juicy. Man, what she thought about it? Like it was at one time. I was just saying, you know what I'm saying? She. <laughs> But yeah, we grew up small, <laughs> like just together, you know, and, and family was everything, you know. Yeah, that's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. It's good to it's good to uh meet people that got that kind of experience and get to be around a lot of family and how their family get along. Get along mm-hmm. for the most part. Oh, I was finna say, I don't know about that Nobody lad pole and that. Oh, yeah, you're going to have some We problems. throw them dukes sometimes, but you, you, we, you we come back together. Much like that. Yeah, you, yeah, you got your grandmama on the property, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Granny would be like, y'all better get them kids. That's, a- <laughs> That's how we grew up. Oh, Flojo. Right. Flojo was kept the kids and the family together. So. Yeah, see, I don't be know. My grandparents lived like way far away in other states. Yeah, oh, we had to real? take a trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 generations of their family. Yeah, so. Um, Kato got a question for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see. Well, we ain't gonna. I got <laughs> another question for you. Um. <coughs> <coughs> we might say anything. Now. Yeah, y'all get so, it. So, um, Bob. Yeah, I'm, I'm open. So, my co-host right here. He, um, got a superpower. Oh, he got a superpower. It's, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Um, just bear with me. Okay, go ahead. Um, Bob's superpower is he's able to make wishes come true. <laughs> Anything you could imagine, something tangible. It has to be something you could you could touch, something you could see. Anything your heart could imagine. You can receive this, but of course, there's a catch. There's always a catch. Always <laughs> I was a catch. gonna say, always a catch. um, someone you've met in your past, I don't, I don't know, just someone you passed and, and had a conversation with, someone you spoken to, maybe someone you was in school with, yeah. somebody random, been somebody at the line at the gas station, <laughs> somebody, how you doing? Yep, you're on the list now. Yeah. Um, dead as hell, they're they gone. what they're gonna they're just gone. drop dead. To get my wish, they gotta die. They gotta die. They what kind to. of supernatural shit is it's, this? It's, it's, I, ain't, I didn't ask for the power. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't know what to tell you. And a lot of people be like, "Yeah, no, nah, I'm too good of a person for that. I just don't want no wish and none of that." Right. Um, if you don't pick anything in this scenario, everybody dies. You're the only person left on All earth. Of them. Everybody but you. Yeah, you here by yourself. 
All get to live forever. Well, which one would I pick? Yeah, what are you gonna pick? What do you want? One of them. Somebody's I would gonna pick die, the, so the, make it. I would, make it. yeah, I would definitely pick somebody for the great good. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't pick the person. Yeah, you, so you so pick, in order to get my wish. wish, then yeah. somebody would die, but I wouldn't know who it was. You don't Correct. know who it is, but you're not gonna. It'll choose. be somebody that you come across in your life at some point in time, but you won't pick who it is. Mm. Yeah. So somebody you laid eyes on and consciously. New existed as a human. They will die. They will die. Just, Somebody. Just so I can have one wish. No, mm. because you have a wish. Not yeah. so you can have a wish. You got the wish anyway. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, you I don't, mean. and everybody can die except you. I wouldn't let everybody die. Okay. okay. Appreciate right. it. So would you Y'all would let me? everybody die? No, absolutely That's not. It's not about us. <laughs> but not about us. It's about me to love. So what are you wishing for? If somebody's life was on the line. People, oh, it is. I don't know. Oh, my God. I would... People got some things. People because I was thinking selfish at first, and now it's like yeah, no, it's it's, it's selfish. It's selfish. Yeah, yeah, it's it's about you. It's yeah. yours. But you I wouldn't be it. able to enjoy no like material things if I knew somebody the only died thing you for can it. Wish for is material. Things. Yeah, it's pretty much. So you can only wish for material yeah, items. Yeah, it's not like magic magic. Yeah, you can't it's just wish a for magic. Like, yeah, you can't wish for all the fairies <laughs> in the dust. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, just yeah. something you could be like, okay, this. Is I can put my hands on it. So for for instance, we had somebody. uh that wanted to own Equifax, I think it was. Yeah, he did say um, that. We had somebody that wanted a hospital that was fully furnished to take care of sick children. They said that. We had somebody that wanted a field to frolic in. Just a field of flowers. <laughs> so, you know, whatever it is. Not a frolic field. Yeah, oh, my God. She wanted. She, she, wanted, she, wanted. <laughs> she wanted her own field to frolic when she pleased. You got to be specific, too, because yeah, somebody wanted a boat. And, and they, they ended they up with a canoe. Really good boat. Yeah, because they just said a boat. No yacht or nothing. No, I wouldn't say that. I would. Then I'm thinking now, like, what would I do? I would build a mansion that's big enough to hold my family. Like all the folks land. that was in the Highlands. Highlands yeah, all my family, I would get land. And it, but it had to have a sex room like the dungeon or some shit. Like, oh, you, want, <laughs> uh, you, want, you want 50 Shades of Grey. Yeah, man. I want to have like an extra. With all your family. With the family. Yeah, just somewhat ducked off. Cool. That's be like my special, like, if somebody had to die, at least I'd get my sex room. room. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big ass skeleton key lock on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Down at the bottom. Like, people are like, why need I go in that? Like, this would be my room. I would do this. I would get, but I would give my family, I'd make sure they was good. It's, Big ass, nice ass, paid off mention. Oh yeah, it's no, paid yeah, off. It's, it's paid yeah. off. And if if that and they got some of little family land, I'd let them work. Virginia Lee, you with a mortgage? Ain't a man. They gave you the bill. Yeah, that'd be fucked up. Hey, wait a minute, bring the genie back. I granted you debt. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up, man. I would do that. That's you that would fit. That did. would that would that would be enough. I would have enough of my family and give me a clear conscience. So I did something for somebody, but I also have a peace for myself. Okay then. Mm-hmm. I, who who died for this? <laughs> um, you remember when you had stopped at that red light and you saw that person picking their dog? Actually, I just saw somebody doing that yesterday. Oh Stop. my god. Dead as hell. She looked at me and I looked at her and she kept on rolling. Damn, like, girl, yeah, get out your damn nose. I was thinking it in my yeah, head. Yeah. <laughs> she was looking at no her more. booger and she fucked around and swerved. Oh, no. Girl, oh, my gosh. She, she died with a booger right That's here. That's a messed up But you got a dungeon now. And a house that's paid for. Yeah, and some land. <laughs> and some land. It's like a little family compound. Yeah. Like, like Boosie like yeah. yeah, yeah. Love. Love land. Yeah, the love I'm trying to tell you. They might have, they might But the, the moral okay. of the story was that everybody got to keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody so my family going. got going with a little bit of extra, but everybody Except in the, the world lady. kept Except going. Besides one person. I, I yeah. live with it. Yeah. I live with it. I'm with that too. I, yeah, one person can go. Some shit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> same message, same message. I mean, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I can't die. I'm fucking with it. I'm I can't. I'm like, I wouldn't. I'm fucking with it. Nah, I don't know. I ain't got to pick. All right. I wouldn't feel bad. Where we at? Wait, it's weird. Tell me what is NLE? The Needles Love Experience. The Needles Love Experience. Yeah, NLE is the, like the little. Kind of way I'm used like a like a look like a halfway. Cause it's so damn long. Okay. 
Yeah, the abbreviation. Yeah, acronym. Yeah, acronym. acronym. Okay, then. Yeah, so Nita's Love Experience is the the company name, the LLC. Okay. What mm-hmm. what is the Nita's Love Experience? Ooh, child, the experience is. So I am a serial entrepreneur that basically looks for anything. I have businesses catered to love, sex, and relationships. Okay, then. So you got the igloo bubble tents. We just did one yesterday for Stormy Steel of the Love and Marriage Sound wild as fuck. For the igloo bubble, the igloo bubble tent. <laughs> Ain't nothing sanitary happening in there. No, 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 no. no, no. It's, it's just not, luxury yeah, dating. No, you can rinse it out. Yeah, no, that's like, luxury. That's free. just that's just something for Steve. people to do that looking for romance. <laughs> okay. All right. Then I do coaching, which I all know about the love and sex the coaching. Loving. Okay, then. And. And then I sell toys and I like so pretty much anything sex master sex expert. Okay, I, I have so it's like a three way. How so, you pick what toys you want to sell? Oh, I've been in that industry for years, so being in it for eight years, I know what good lubes is. I know what good toys is. I can I can look at a toy. What like from customer touching it, to like material, it. like some toys have really like bad silicone and. Or like jelly, or whether it's you know good battery life on it, like what speeds come with different toys, um, how they lubes and lotions, if like any after effect, like I can pretty. What much... What do you rank in the rows on a one to ten? The lowest. The lowest. Man, I, I see it on Facebook. I don't know. It became y'all know how it, it is. Got People up. got yeah. get it, got it because it was because it was hype, like popular, and I think because it was an air pulsation toy so it pulls like people didn't know that that's like a squirting toy Okay. so it kind of hyped it up but actually it don't have most of them don't have good motors in them they don't right. pull as hard as you know like another one that's like toys. yeah, yeah you, okay. get some, you get some <laughs> other ones boy they'll, they'll suck your life away no, but that rose ain't that rose ain't about that line so I don't I, I wouldn't it was my least favorite. So most sexologists mm-hmm. is our least so least favorite toy. Oh, it's like a, you in a community? Yeah, it's a whole. It's Y'all a like whole... pull up gang gang. Yeah, that's who you going to <laughs> go meetings. That's who you going to click up with later. A convention. It is a it's a career field. Uh huh. That's so who you going to we, click up with? No, no. But no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do talk and we communicate. We go to conferences. and no, stuff No, I like need that. to be in that group chat. Sexologists come. I'm trying to be in that group chat there. right now. <laughs> <laughs> You heard the sexologist group chat. Yeah, well, yes, hey, the sex coaches or sex therapists. And, um, I mean, we hear, we hear it all. We we do, really do. But I started I off that. selling toys. That's how I got into business. So you could give me a robot. Yeah, definitely. I can get you whatever you want. I don't give me a sex robot. <laughs> don't judge me, y'all. Yeah, I don't want. It look heavy. It, I, and I need the one that walk. Oh, you oh, that's shit. an expensive one. I you got, don't want like the plastic one. No, nah, I'm gonna take like one. I'm gonna take All like right. a, a mortgage out on my house. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> you're gonna have to spend some money on that one. Yeah, I'm gonna take a second mortgage out. Because they have the ones with no heads and stuff. You Can gonna it, name it the same? You gonna give her a name? Just watch. <laughs> <laughs> Can it wash? I need one that wash dishes. Oh, uh-uh, it said a sex toy, not a yeah, not a I robot mean, yeah. that wash dishes. We're gonna do that too. <laughs> That's sexy uh, when you clean the place. Right, yeah, you want yeah, the robot yeah. to wash dishes and have sex with you. That's all. That's hey, all. It's so sexy when you dry it. Like when they write down the off. requirements of every robot, it be personalized. Okay, what would you like your robot to do today? I'm bullshitting. I, I got a lady. Wash I don't dishes. Want none of that. I don't want none of that. I'm That's lying. good. I'm lying. That's good. But you said that. It's a good comeback. She watching. Yeah, she watching. Good man, girl. <laughs> You, you heard it, did it? A good man in here. She lying. He like hell no, nah, don't get me in trouble. I don't want that shit, babe. <laughs> Check this out. We set up a demo. After you, you got your all your property, all your, your mansion out here, all your family out here. We're gonna have a special dinner to celebrate. Who is it gonna be? It's up to you. It don't yeah, even gotta be right out. here. Hey, but. Oh yeah, I would do a big old like no, I want no, one of those no. Jesus tables. Okay, like. no, it, no, it can't be with three people there. Oh, I gotta pick them. Yeah, it's it's, it's you <laughs> and three, <laughs> three people. My family watching this. Like you, you, you try to start people. an argument. No, you wait a minute. No, no. Yeah, how long? It ain't even. I mean, I don't mean no disrespect to your family, <laughs> but it's a little bigger than your family. Yeah, you could have a Jesus table. Y'all could all be there. I mean, yeah. Is right now. Okay. This table, Jesus could be there if you want him to be there. Yeah. Okay, so like, who? Or SpongeBob could be SpongeBob's there. SpongeBob's gonna be there too. <laughs> so I'm you picking have three guests. 
from any time, place, or thing. Could be a cartoon character, could be a real person, could be somebody that passed, somebody from the past, could be somebody you assume is from the future. It don't matter who these guests are or how these guests have materialized, you have a choice of three. And they come in the dental. They come in the dental with me. Yep. <laughs> Donald Trump. Is it wrong to say Donald Trump? He said, he said Trump. Hey. He pulling up with the pad. No. Hey. 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 I would do. And you said past, like like now. Anything, like, anybody, anywhere, anytime. Yeah, make believe. It could be a cartoon, real, a yeah. movie character. Anybody. It could be a book character. It a could be a real raptor. person. I, I, yeah, it could be a dinosaur. Hey. Shit. They're going to eat you know, all the fucking food. It could be a microbe. Okay. All right. I, whatever. I'm a money girl, so I would be, it'll be, I want somebody rich. Who is rich? Oprah, Tyler Perry, which one? Which one richer? I don't, I, be, I don't really I don't, know. I feel like Tyler Perry might be I mean, be it's a man's right world, now. so you might want to go. <laughs> I, I feel like right saying. now. I want to be at the table with somebody rich, so it'll either be, oh, Rihanna rich too now. Rihanna, Rihanna rich too? Rihanna rich rich. Yeah. And her dude finna get locked up something. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Take Wait a minute. Okay. From the- Wait a minute. Damn. Oh. <laughs> he I'm said no. Nah. I would choose. This had to be somebody rich. I'm thinking somebody I would I would get it along with too. So it, like I would have to vibe with them. So I think it would be me, my my me, my daughter. Okay. My okay. daughter, because I have one kid. My daughter's daughter, because if you said I can go in the future. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I, okay. I would pull man. her and then somehow the rich as hell, That's so that up. we build a generational love. That would probably else. be what person is coming to this ain't opening any type Bill Gates or something like that. Like somebody rich, rich. Somebody you tell pick. us how you we can't get somebody that. like that. You gotta pick. That'd be We never had nobody go in the future and get somebody before. Me, my daughter, my daughter's daughter. So you gotta say your granddaughter. My granddaughter. <laughs> no, she didn't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, right. my daughter's daughter. <laughs> no, nah, grandma. And <laughs> Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. Oprah. Okay, then. Right. I want somebody to go teach them how to get money. Black girl magic. I ain't yeah. mine. You're going down at the table. <laughs> God, that, that is magic. Yeah. What, what, what down there? What we having down there? <laughs> yeah, what what the world? What What's we the going? meal? Oh, we having dinner in... Um, mm, I always wanted to go to, to Jamaica. Okay, then. Let's take I'm it to Jamaica. Yeah. That's what's happening on the resorts. If I if I could like instantly learn a second language, it would be patois. All right, really? Yes. Hmm. I, I don't know. I just love Jamaica. everything about Jamaica. Yeah, I, yeah. I just like. It. I go to Jamaica. Then it'd be Spanish. And look hot as hell. Yeah, it's hot as hell. Yeah. yeah. It is hot as hell. Yeah. They don't I dance would... here like they do there. I don't like to dance. <laughs> I like to see it. Oh. I would love this. I would want to see the culture. I think yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. But they say the resorts eat? are beautiful. Ooh. Mm-hmm. With two kids at the table, we're going to have to have some, like, kid, like, we're going to have to do a buffet. <laughs> okay. Because I don't want to eat what okay. they eat. It's going to be chicken nuggets on the buffet. Oh, we got to put some chicken nuggets on your mother now. answer. Right. Put some chicken nuggets, chicken strips on I'm there. trying to stay on that end. And then for me, I want steaks. You can have anything to eat with and her future granddaughter. And it's some storage down there. Yeah, it's some Burger right. King nuggets over there. Man, where? That's why it's got to be a buffet. That's a mom answer. Is these chicken fries? <laughs> hey, Nigga, Oprah love chicken fries. And a fries. bologna sandwich or something. I'm just playing. A bologna sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> Y'all ain't had a, a good crispy bologna sandwich. Ooh, child. Yeah, I what? I said I haven't. You I haven't had one in a while. Oh, in a while. I was agreeing I'm, with you. I'm the thick bologna like sandwich, like the real good bologna. Yeah, I bought some somewhere. There's a barbecue place, and I was like, man, look, they sell bologna mm-hmm. sandwiches. And I got one. It was like way too thick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't like the sandwich. I was like, ah, damn. 
<laughs> Why is it so much baloney? Shit. Did they have anything else on there? I mean, it was some old shit on there. Oh, but okay. Yeah, after, after about a quarter of the sandwich, you couldn't see nothing but, but moist bread and bologna out right there. Damn, that's a, I would never get a bologna sandwich from a barbecue. I ain't, I ain't know. I ain't never. You ain't seen them pictures of them big old fucking have not. things of bologna? Mm-mm. That's, I did and after that. slices. Cause I was like, where the fuck does this come from? Well, they got to make their money worth. You know, they got to put a piece yeah. on there that's worth it. She gave me a knife. <laughs> cut this about, cut this about bread. Shit. Oh, <laughs> about shit. About three sandwiches. I'm dead. <laughs> All right, you uh. You said that you mentioned that part of what you do um, has to deal with teaching people how to date correctly. Yes. I recently had a thought that I'm kind of stuck with now. And I believe that all this time, everybody should have been living in a world where we have a, a temporary date, a temporary relationship like set up like mm-hmm. that's the idea going into it is we're in a relationship for three months and after the three months we'll reassess this would say you would i agree with that yeah i think it's perfect okay then all right look at that you certified i think it's perfect i think a lot of people sit uh people I tell people people date with a marriage mindset, and that's not good because I'm not I'm not I may be here for a, a short time, not a long time, and I think you should always assess six months, two years, four five years, come back to that table and be like you still want to be with me, you know, check box one or two because you know what I'm saying people a lot of people waste a lot of time, you know, and if they had the option to leave and they chose to leave, then let them. I ain't. Yeah, I, I think it would be easier if. If that's how, if instead of having the marriage mindset, like you were saying, if people grew up knowing, like, when you have a relationship, you don't have to really have it for this much time. Mm-hmm. Just, it'll be fine. And it's, if people grew up with that mindset, I think it'd be easier for people to do that. But I don't think that people can as easily now. Would how, how do you try to help somebody let go of a relationship or end something that probably should have been ended a long time ago? Like, what's, what's something that you would tell somebody in that scenario? I think a relationship coach, people just missing honesty. You know, like, people around them sugarcoating. Yeah, hey. they, they sugarcoating <laughs> it. Oh, yeah, we understand. You can talk to somebody independent on who you're talking to and stuff like that. You know, someone, all, everybody, I tell them, you single date. People are single and not dating. It's weird to me. Yeah. They they like well I got this one situation ship I'm good it's like no like you 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 had to go out there and date them all explore some explore shit explore and see what see you like world. See, I don't know singleness how you're supposed is supposed to, do that if to be think that like if you do have a situation ship which still is technically undefined okay there's so many how the fuck how how are you supposed to date someone else if the person that you're already dating is feeling some kind of way about that because then you're not going to be dating them anymore. I think that's the people that miss. That's what I was saying. And like a lot of times when I'm in my mixers and we talk about this same thing, is that dating is dating, you know, and people jump from situationship to sex to feelings, which sex is bonding. And now you got all these emotional connections. Now I feel tied to you. But in reality, if there's no commitment, if there's no trust and, and there's no um, real love, then what are we doing? You know, we just wasting space. And date, date them all, date everybody because dating is skill building. Okay, then it's skill I building it. because if I learn, if I'm with you Man, and I learn with you, right? But people don't learn it though. <laughs> people learn how to hook up. We learning how to hook up right now. We learning how to build bonds with no accountability. That's stupid. Then I might as well go on my business. Where where does the account? Where does how does dating add the accountability? In situationships, that's where add accountability because now I'm creating emotions with somebody that I don't necessarily want to be accountable for the emotions that I'm creating. So I want you to love on me. I want you to lay with me. I want to grab, have all gravitate to all these feelings, but we, but you still my man. That's not my man and my woman. That ain't my woman. That's what accountability come up. But in dating, you don't have accountability to anybody but yourself because you're treating everybody as a single. Person. Hell, 
So I'm single. I don't have accountability to you or nobody because in this single journey, I'm learning, hey, I like this, but I don't like this. And I can learn how to exit. I can learn how to answer. So in that scenario, you're not treating them the same as if you would treat them in a situation ship. Well, not necessarily. You know, I tell people a lot of times, people think if if you... If I'm saying that date, they mean like be selfish. No, oh yeah, you're selfish, but you're not hurting anyone. You know what I'm saying? So you could be in a situation, ship, but you're dating. Yeah, it just depend on whoever's perspective. I think it depends on a lot of people's perspective, the where they're. No, because if you're dating, your intention. So there's a difference between a situation ship and in, an intentional dating, meaning that the intention behind this is to get to know you more. This. Intention is to grow with you. You know what I'm saying? That's the dating what, part. What the fuck Alexa talking about? Oh, so, no. like, I'm intentional. As long as we, we haven't made any... So, a lot of people take situationships, and they don't have any title. So, I'm just... We dating, but we secretive. We dating. It's just always so unreal of them. But if I tell you, like, I'm not trying to have no situation, this just is what it is. Yeah, we just getting to know each other. Then... No, I'm, ain't no just to know I'm dating yeah, more yeah, people. We're not going no yeah. further than this point. Then that's I'm not dating anymore. When you when you say we're what makes the difference between the dating and the situation ship is the communication. Okay. I'm telling you in a date that like we just going on a date. If I took if I pick me up, we on a date. Like, if yeah, you, if you know dating, what I'm saying? We're just going on dates. Yeah, we like, dating. That's it. We come up and date. Next week we're if go there is an, a, a, a sexual connection, then we understand that we, we about to have set. We communicate. Yeah, but if you in situations, most of the time people are creating emotions by several dates and several sexual encounters and and, and, and calling up when they had a bad day. You're you're building your bond up. If you call a motherfucker when you had a bad day, that you in a relationship. You you going man. towards They're all relationships. Yeah, but now nah, you know Real, what I'm talking about. But you're, you're speaking in a, a, a you I can have a friend. You that, finna go together. That could be your friend though. And you fucking. But are you right. saying them that they're friends? That like, you're just friends? If you too. tell them that, then yeah, you, I as think long as you tell them right. Yeah, you gotta yeah. tell them. Yeah, like yeah, no, nah, we we friends. I mean, but we fucking. If you. But don't fuck. catch no feelings. Exactly. Who can do that? <laughs> now how your day at work was. Who can do that? All right. That sex was good right there. You know, lay under me, baby. Oh, but don't catch no feelings. Like it's that's the part of it. That's I feel like people don't take accountability for that. If your relationship, you know, but if you add a sexual relationship, now you tripling that bond. It's like a soul tie. You just keep adding. You don't got to tie all these all different. The yeah, I feel like men are better at that than women, though. Men ain't really got to catch no. We can sit in this motherfucker all day. And, I don't even and think catch a nut and leave. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think it's that. I and I don't mean to cut you off. I no, think you that men can have the feelings. They just can rationalize them. them better. Like that, you can you can put this where it needs to be. Understand what it is, address it the way it needs to be, and move so deal on. with your feelings. Right. Yeah. Instead only, of letting it be what uh, guide you through ever, whatever your next steps and shit. Right. Is. I think a lot of men can navigate single life a lot better than women, um, but not all. But some of them can. I think it just comes down to most with men. You may see it's like a little jealousy or you know a little a little loyalty. Like they won't. To know that it's theirs. Like, if I'm, I'm fucking with you, and I'm fucking with you the hard way. For real, for real. I'm taking you out on date. I'm spending money with you. I want to know, like, you ain't giving that thing nobody else. Like, like a lot of them feel that way. You so, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you can't. You got to. You don't, you don't, you don't spend money. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta spend money. <laughs> I'm you just saying. Y'all see. what you just said, right? Okay. Swap it off or something. That like, was... Yeah, would you got your hair? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Then that's then that would be friend dating. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's different because I'm spending my money. Spending my money, we understand. But most of the times, that is not what happened. We going on okay. dates. So I'm spend, I'm talking about. I be learning shit. I didn't know since I started this pod. I didn't know this many people be out here fucking as much as they do. Oh yeah. I didn't know. Oh yeah. Everybody. Oh hell yeah. Like yeah. They, oh yeah. Everybody. They building sexual ties. So I didn't know. Man, hook, we in a hookup culture. We back to like. Hippie days, but in the open. <laughs> Hippies found the bitch. field. They they used to go to one field. Like everybody come over here and have an orgy. They out in the world right now. Yeah, like okay. you know, it's hookup culture, hands down. So yeah, people are having sex and create. That's why I'm saying on the accountability. 
is that if I can take you out, I, I'm gonna want some in return. I'm spending my money and my time. This dick ain't free. <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay. <laughs> you give me everything. People gonna want some in return. I tell you, I've never, I, I've seen certain relationships. Certain people really can't be in that space, that limbo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when they ready for most a relationship, can't do it no, most people can't. Somebody gonna end up falling. Somebody oh, gonna yeah. catch feelings. Yeah, every time. But okay, well then catch them. Pick them up. <laughs> hey, look. Shake it real quick. <laughs> we got to eat this shit. Put feelings hey, back. This shit got to be over with now. Shake what about fucking ass feelings? If we ain't going to be together, this shit got to be over with I know, with right? Because yeah. then somebody going to get in their feelings. You can't even be like cool no more? No, no. How? They going to want you all the time. If what if you're still no, dating really? and you know that they out there doing it? Like getting, like this nigga bringing them presents and. It's called life? That's, that's, you think you have a logical way of thinking, which probably would. Deal, with, you just deal with it. With that work. Mean it's going to be fun all the time, but you deal with it. <laughs> if it's somebody that you actually is a friend with. If I don't like cool. you that much as you like me too much. Y'all like doing the same. Y'all like doing some of the same shit. <laughs> he said, if like, I like you and you don't like me. Yeah, either way, And that's yeah. another thing, too, yeah, in no, situationships. I'm, I'm that, there's though. always one person that cares just a little bit more. I am. That's every relationship. Yeah, it's always yeah, just like this one is. person that get that get 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 good kick. It's always somebody that's gonna humble you. I don't give a damn. Like yeah. you know, I'm like God damn. You know, this motherfucker made me sick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So that's where it come from. That's Definitely why I think. Happens. But I do. I'm not talking <laughs> down. I know someone. I know they was like, well, I have a very healthy situation which keeps them from being with other people. But the question is, is if it's that healthy, why are y'all not together? Because then it wouldn't be a situation. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't now, guys. It. It. it ain't now. It's it's just, they that's a, they uh, is together. <laughs> they just don't want to say it. They don't want to say it. They not together. Motherfucker, put, put your taxes together. You can find <laughs> out. They a might have shared a couple. Something. That don't mean they together. <laughs> Man, all right. So and That's the question. That if it's that healthy. Together-ish. Ish. No, okay. They somewhere. Yeah. Okay. In the ether. And they somewhere floating, floating in and they ain't yeah. all little orb. And I Surviving. have seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. What I mean, they're happy in their their situation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but there's just yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, okay. So I'm not saying all are bad. So you know? but what you what so what you tell that person? That's your friend? If that's that's inside of this um In the ether. <laughs> a healthy situation show. <laughs> The healthy situation. I said what I just said. If it, if it was that healthy, why are y'all not together? And if it's something, until somebody answered that for me, then. Oh, she ain't had no answer. What do you, but that, isn't that like a redundant question? How? Because I, if it's healthy, if that's the precursor for how you're describing then this situation. Then what keeps y'all apart? Nothing, because they have this healthy situation. Like, yeah. they're already together as much as, like, if, like, you could, you can push magnets together to a certain point before they start repelling. Right. Right up before that, they all, it's all good. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't need to go past that threshold that would start repelling them. And right now, where they're at, it's fine. You could make them spin around each other. You can make them do all kind of little things and from keep. the force. And, but as long as you don't put them too close together, they're <laughs> not going to knock each other apart. <laughs> It sound okay, like a marriage to me. A marriage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to be funny, but you that sound like a good old marriage. Long, motherfucker. Hey. I mean, that's all I'm you trying to say. been in my face for too long. I sound guess. like the long term commitment, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying so if it worked, it was, I don't know, what, what I'm needs saying. explaining. I think for me, it just comes down to, you know, what what's stopping y'all from crossing <laughs> that last step and not, and that, so and not try to. marriage. I do believe I believe that I believe that people can be in long term relationships and not necessarily like I don't want to put any hetero normative you know on people yeah, relationships I believe people some people I know are in partnerships you know where they're just partners you know but the commitment piece is always there I like all these ships I think that's the difference nice. that's the I think that's the only difference for me the commitment so if you don't if there's not, it, I'm I'm asking, and correct me if I'm wrong. If there's not a, if there's not a distinct singular partner that you're dedicating yourself to, then there's not commitment. Yeah, I think it's the commitment, the piece that 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 
solidifies, you know, the relationship. That when you're out and about, it's not I'm single and I'm, I'm but I'm but I'm not single. You know, I'm like a confused I'm dealing with area. somebody. What yeah. factors have to be solidified in the commitment statement? Like, is it like if I get locked up, you bailing me out on mm-hmm. God? Like, is it like? If I see you with somebody else, it's a problem. But as long as I don't see you, it's fine. Where is, um, what, what are the factors that say that this is what locks us in? Because I, I think it's really I important if you're a bitch. Yeah, like, like, it's really important if you're a you better come get me. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, we got anything. You supposed to go get me. Right. Right. <laughs> I think for me, the commitment piece comes down to the willing to, um, like... I guess tie it together. Like I'm committed to the process of you. What's the your, process? What's of their tie you? look like? Huh? You? The the tie for that relationship you talk about for your friend. If they were to commit or tie the process up correctly in your mind, what's what does that look like? It wouldn't be my man that's not my man, or my woman that's not my woman. It's just my man and my woman. Okay. Can they have more like other people that ain't they man and woman? If they're that's what their relationship requires. I'm not saying they have to live together or they can agree to be poly or all these other uh, poly. You got tri truffles. They got all types as long truffles. as it's committed to the process. Oh, that's why I said the process of the love, and yeah, it's not just my man. It's not my man because then technically you. It's like a. A double edged sword. What do you mean to you? Is, is your man or not your man? You know what I'm saying? That's that part. They want you introduce and say, Are you are you in a relationship? Uh yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> man, that's right. the part. You nah, know, not just, just my but feeling that you <laughs> trusting that you can say that that's my woman and that's my man without looking stupid. <coughs> and that could be broad too, but trusting it. I think that's what it comes from. The trust, the commitment, and you think the she respect. Wants to do that? Um, I think if or are you projecting, I think she wants more, mm. but most of the time we settle. Never gonna get it. Never gonna. <laughs> no, <laughs> we settle, and it's not that settling is a bad thing. I think it's just it just depends on what stage of life that you're in. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like sometimes we, I could be in a fucked up situation. This person just make me fucking smile. It, she or they just deal for me in a way that nobody else is. You know what I'm saying. So sometimes we just end up in shit. You know what I'm saying. Like stuff that just kind of just fall into place, and it's like, well, that one's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? Because all my relationships have <laughs> fall into place. Just be, the motherfuckers I be dating and shit, like, that shit doesn't ever work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just be like some random, like, oh, that shit just fell into, yeah. you know, play. Yeah, I don't really think you can look for relationships. I don't think that's something. In my in my mind, in my experience, yeah. how I view the world, I don't really think that's something you can do. But I feel like that's why you date for real. I know that's the purpose of dating. I don't think there's But yeah, that shit don't work. To yeah. look like go out and search for a person. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that I don't think there's a good success rate for that. Yeah, I'd no. assume it's probably like seventeen percent okay, success then. rate. I would like to go out. Years. I think it's about making yourself available and that's that that's it. Like make yourself available to date. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Because people don't you do that. Put yourself out there, Bob. <laughs> yeah, you don't put yourself out there. You're the 17s, Bob. Nah, yeah, <laughs> you know, people don't do that. It's just, and I got like, two pair of brown dress shoes. Yeah. Okay, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing like it. I be it. like... <laughs> You still like I mean, in. people be like, but you know, that and social media, people go, you know, behind cell phone and text. And yeah, no, I, I'll be here. But I'll be they now supposed to be getting down. I just, I can't hear. Yeah, yeah. but most people yeah, are not making people. themselves available to to oh, even meet available. a person. Dude, what about the apps? apps? Tell me about the dating apps. That's Oof. a good thing. That's a bad thing. What do you think about the dating apps? I think that we spend eighty five percent, eighty to eighty five percent of time on our cell phones. So was it genius for someone to create some way that we could connect oh, instantly? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. However, do game. I feel that dating apps are the best? No. I mean, people just be on there cause they bored. I mean, you, I mean, you really gotta filter through that motherfucker, like for real, for real. I like, know. I ain't never been on there before. Ugly motherfuckers <laughs> on them apps, my boy. I you think remember I told you I was gonna get on them. I got on. I'm, I'm talking about. I downloaded like because I I thought I was trying to shoot for some shit. And I thought like I, we, we gonna get some content out mm-hmm. this shit. 
Man, I got a, I downloaded like six, seven apps. You know what I'm saying? The next one was. Because as soon as you download one, it'll suggest another one. Yeah, you know, you know, you just download all them hoes. Man, man okay. Same okay. bitches on all of them, and they look the same on all of them. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's whole. I don't understand. I, I think I think people are, it's complicated. And then there was one or two where I scrolled by and was like, I know that bitch. Ooh, let me get off this motherfucking ass right now. Goddamn. <laughs> oh, yeah, you gonna see you in a certain you radius. Know. They pulling up in a radius. Well, I didn't expect. I wasn't thinking that. I wouldn't. I don't be on no date you now. You see somebody you know? Yeah. Got them hoes off my phone with the quick. Yeah. Got them up off of there. Yeah. Yep. Got them right. And then later on. What happened to the content? Fuck that. Oh, shit. Fuck <laughs> that oh, shit. Oh, I'm, not shit. I'm not doing it or them or nothing around them yeah. or it. I'm glad I ain't shit. been dating since they done had dating apps and oh. shit. A oh, lot of people God. don't like them. Uh, some people meet from I it. thought folks be on there just getting, I thought folks be like hooking up. Oh, it is. Folks be th- this Tinder, I ain't, ain't yeah. that one Tinder for? Tinder. I had that one too. It don't, it don't matter. <laughs> Tinder. If that's, who y'all hook, if that's who y'all hooking up with, stop. <laughs> yeah, Tinder. No. Tinder's big. It's no. really considered the hookup app. No. Stop it right now. This shit's, ugh. It's yeah. a bunch of ugly. It's got to be some attractive people out there too, my uh, heart. That's it. what's up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they got a uh, lot of them though. Yeah. Every, everybody want to date she now. Mean apps, not attractive people. Oh shit. <laughs> I think dating apps are like Walmart. Like you know, sometimes you go in there and it's just some weird ass people. Do be laid there. out all different. You know what I'm y'all saying? That's how the dating apps. Uh, y'all, y'all in the dating apps do be laid out all different. Facially, body structure, <laughs> all y'all be laid out different. Just like the Walmart. She right. <laughs> Just yeah, like okay. Walmart, you go <laughs> to Walmart, like you don't know what you're gonna see when what you go on to Walmart. Oh, like, that's how I feel about yeah, damn day naps. Hey, that shit was. I'm glad I ain't Ooh. got to deal with none of this shit no more. And I seen Facebook had one, and then it was gone like a few months later. Hell. <laughs> Out of there. No. <laughs> like, nobody used that Facebook shit. dating app. Facebook, I bet this shit It's older. Creepy. A lot of older people on that one. Yeah, I mean, on but people don't naps. meet. Like, you know, people. people don't. That's the reason why I started the singles mixes, because it was like, you don't go out and meet people. People, like, I ask them all the time, like, if, I was, if you was at a store, would you shoot your shot? Most of the guys would be like, no, nah, like, these women... Mm. They turn. No. They won't speak. They won't stop. It like even Damn. if I think she fine, like one was like hawk her down, and then you know you weird. You know they get they treat people so bad in the streets. Damn, they do. You they know be they be mean out here. So I be I've been, been changed, huh? I've been <laughs> with people that have been mean to somebody. That's fucked and up. just had to try to hold my laugh in, but I also felt bad. Like, man, wait, he didn't say no excuse. Yeah, like, <laughs> God damn, like, what do he do to man, you? Okay. Why are you talking to him like that? Nope. Take it. Yeah, they. <laughs> well, you know that one. That's what somebody <laughs> said. They said the rejection out here is real, so they don't feel comfortable shooting their shots. Like, you know what I'm saying? In public. Man, okay. Lady, and, but baby. women always say Lady. they want to be met in public, so it's kind of like. That's how we used to meet with him, for real. <laughs> a motherfucker no matter how. I, I made a post. A motherfucker would go to Maybe Walmart yesterday. to meet with me, goddamn. I, I used to, this is probably the fourth or fifth time I done grown my hair out. It used to be so easy for me to just start talking to some chick and be talking about getting my hair done. <laughs> easy. That's free throw. No, man. You can't talk to nobody. That, that, try it. No, they <laughs> don't do hair no more. They yeah. don't do hair, and if you say something about it, they probably gonna talk about your pocket. <laughs> no, oh, you can't like afford you. me. No, oh. you can't afford somebody to go do your hair while your hair ain't done already. Would you like the whole? It, it's a whole list. It ain't the same Damn. no more. Yeah, so, and then dating apps also lets you create the illusion of who you are. Yeah, yeah. So the then you, too, you can shit. really like. Damn, y'all in them filters. Yeah, filters and Man. fake bios Man. and people don't list whether they got kids. You think you talking? He got like some kids. Be like, wait a yeah. minute, that's not what your bio said. Damn. You don't know her baby daddy about to get out. <laughs> For real. Three weeks. Man. Yeah, you don't see he the underground. Eight years. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. over with. Because right. I think people put people can be who they want to be on those apps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, nah, that shit crazy. That, yeah. shit, that shit was, it was weird though to like look and see people saying the shit. Like it, the stuff that, the way, the way that people present themselves and talk on them apps, like they is the shit. Like, oh, yeah. I dare you to act like you even <laughs> could talk to me no. on this app. Like, and look, they be ugly? And look like oh, Big no. Foot put on the Timberland and <laughs> kick them in the face. Like, Damn. I'm talking about... Hey, I ain't nothing wrong with a little confidence. You know. All right. I, ain't I, don't, I don't see. I don't... I don't 
subscribe to that either, but that's a whole nother conversation. Even if you ugly, act like no, you pretty. No, I think <laughs> you like pretty you as hell. I think be a little more realistic about your actuality. No. Fuck that. Be pretty, goddamn. I no. think you just be confident. Right. You don't know. Why? You can't be confident ugly? Mm-mm. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no. Strong jaw. No. Yeah, you need to you, reasonably confident. Okay. okay. Reasonably confident. Why reasonably? Why not? So you can't be <laughs> just confident in yourself and, and not be cute? Like, why not? Well, you can be confident in your other attributes. <laughs> oh, but she got a big booty. <laughs> yeah, so I call her big booty. <laughs> oh, my you know God. That? I'm so Shit. dead. Yeah, no, nah, don't be... Don't be don't be posting no pictures talking about face card. <laughs> y'all know y'all got that. <laughs> but y'all know y'all got that old ugly homeboy that be that be acting like he finer than a motherfucker. No, man. Yeah, y'all no, do. No. Yeah, like this gonna pull on one and I hear that still right up. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Y'all know I, y'all got I, that I one homeboy. No, I, I really all my homeboys have always got bitches. <laughs> Everyone I've known, and I thought yeah, I know, it was I know weird. a few like, that ain't getting no bitches. Yeah. And you were like, that nigga ain't got no good. Like, he got I don't have no homeboys. I got a few, and they get mad. Quit cussing them girls out. That ain't they fault they don't like you. <laughs> cussing them girls out. That's like I be thinking when I see people that got ugly family members. What? Well, it be pretty people in ugly families too. It do. It not, it not I got a, a couple of ugly families. It don't be a lie. <laughs> I got a couple of. Oh. Most of the time, the, the ugly be through the family. Like, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. 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 You know the pretty person, and then you see their family. You be like, oh, she was a dog. Oh, that's your sister. Man, all right. With life, who was I? How so? <laughs> For how long? Yeah. All right. That's a whole. Anyway. That's fucked up. Me ain't right. Me ain't right. Me ain't right at all. But now nah, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm so. To myself. I've been thinking about it. Me and my old lady like to travel and shit. Tell me about these couples retreats you got going on. Oh man, so we got a second annual one, and that's being Chattanooga. Okay. Last man. year we did it in Guns, but so it's like a love and intimacy retreat. So the whole thing is just relationship, health, and intimacy rejuvenation. Because I used to, tr- I was in the army. And we did the same things. Like, we take couples and soldier couples outside. But I want it to be more, like, affection and having fun and getting out with your partner and getting in the streets with your partner. Like, doing stuff that you wouldn't How normally do at the home. Streets? Um, as well as learning, like, how to do sensual massages or to do yoga together. Like, to actually connect. The way when you leave that retreat, you're, you're rejuvenated. You get ready, mm-hmm. you're ready to get back. To life together like that. That's okay, my vibe. Man. Massage will make you tired. Yeah, yeah sleepy. Yeah, yeah, make make hands. <laughs> like, oh, oh, like, <laughs> gonna be rejuvenated. Rejuvenation, <laughs> yeah. Because so most people like are y'all in relationships. I am. No, and relationships take up a lot of time. And most of the time, if we trying to get to the bag, you know, we're trying to live right now. Like sometimes we feel like relationships take up it too take much time. time. Yeah, so when when the good thing about retreats is like get away like allow yourself a break from all the other stuff and just focus on right. us and what we doing and like that little bit of weekend can be enough to fill you up for seven months you know like damn we ain't went on a date in a while the last one we went to was just so powerful right. you know what I'm saying just these little nights where we trying to slip in some sex and some Netflix, you know, like just being at the home, like, well, you know, babe, I'm home, you know what I'm saying? So it's, I feel Damn. like that's the good part of it. And so for me, especially, I'm I got like business as businesses, like I take I take my vacations with my man seriously. I hate it because you know, like, shh. if not, then we, we I'm like, well, we last time. <laughs> Ain't when like was our last vacation, day? Man. We, we about to do for a trip here. Yeah, yeah y'all should going come. Going we got one, one couple things. next week, actually. Mm-hmm. Going on oh, nah, we ain't going to be able to go next week. Yeah, it was I'll literally. I'll find a bitch. I'll find nah, a you bitch. Pull up, man. Man. Pull up. Pull up. I'll find me. Pull up. I'll find me. Pull up. All right. All right. No, I'm playing. I ain't going to do it. I'm actually going to meet some ladies tonight. You might want to come over there and see what y'all. We'll see what you're ready for. your whole room of women. Oh, shit. Go ahead, Bob. I can't go. Yeah, I can't I go. I I can't go. I see, I, I told go. you he was a good man, yeah, girl. Yeah, nah, this is a room with any women in it. I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> a room for love, I'm saying. All right. <laughs>
That's what I'm talking about. It's a smart thing. Smart thing. It can't be. But yeah, up. like that's just what it is. Like that's with the intimacy retreats and stuff. Like I was, I just want to create a space. And my workshops are small. Like come in. Six I'm gonna to ask eight. you the size of like the, the retreat. Like um, you, I don't do anything you, over 15 people. I like everything I do to be small and impersonal. Wait, how's it? Be yeah, good? if somebody got two, somebody oh, got 15. Two. Well, on a retreat, 20. <laughs> Went up to twenty okay. people, but I'm saying in my now, studio. Yeah, you can't, wait a minute. You can't odd number wait a minute. Right now um, me my that. studio is about fifteen, but that's just because I say that. But anytime I'm doing any type of couple workshops or anything, small and um, personable, because if someone needs that extra attention, I want to be able to give it to them. You know, or a couple's having a hard time. I don't want to feel like they pay money. You ever went somewhere and you like, damn, that was fun, but I didn't get to get the whole gist of what was going on because was too much shit yeah, going on. Yeah, they going to put your Facebook profile yeah. up and like, go to her page, y'all. If you ever go to her retreat. Yeah. <laughs> shit, I want some people that's like, you know, going to give some reviews and then they, I know that they had a good time because we yeah. invested into each couple, you know. So that's why I keep them at. Um, so this year we're going to Chattanooga. Last year we was in Garnersville. Okay, then. And every year we'll try to too. travel a little bit. We we I've never been to Chattanooga, so I'm excited. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I fuck with Chattanooga. It's it's, it's like a it's similar to Huntsville. For oh, real. for real, for real. It's a little it's a little more water for real. Okay, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, we'll go down now. So. Another weekend, man. I might have I might have pulled up. Another no, weekend. I, I might put I can't do it this weekend. I yeah, got nah. shit going on. But another weekend. Oh, I'm yeah. about to, we're going I'm next about to year. Like, where you, next year we're yeah. going. Yeah, I got a couple yeah. and now I got a single. So I got stuff for both of y'all. So that's what's up. Okay, then. Got couple yeah, stuff. We'll couple workshops. I'm talking shit. You a single? You pull up. Why you? Why? That's my agree. question. Why men don't come to singles mixers? I don't, I don't know what a singles mixer is. I ain't, what is a singles mixer for Mix real? and mingle with other single people. Just everybody at this bar single and you know they're for real. Yeah. And we here because we single and for it's real. Pretty much. Here that say they single. Women are single. Don't believe, <laughs> okay. them. Don't believe them. Don't believe them. Lying ain't hell. I don't believe <laughs> Ain't no such thing as a <laughs> single woman. <laughs> Somebody think they in a relationship. Well, they, I'm dead. They say that thing online again. It said, uh, 70 or 80% of women or something got a backup dude on hold for no. whatever their relationship Old don't faithful. work out. To my yeah. old faithful, yeah. man. See? Okay, no, old faithful. All right. All right. It ain't just a geyser in Yellowstone. It ain't just a geyser in Yellowstone, y'all. Bitch, who is yeah. old faithful? <laughs> in the phone and everything. Man, all right. OF. Me, man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, who OF? OF calling? Yeah, old, old faithful. That's man. what we call them. All right. Yeah, see, yeah. I don't trust um, them. But, don't but trust yes, no, or in situations. Single but singles mixers mixer. are good. And a lot of people do like speed dating. Like, okay, speed dating. Why, like those type of events. Yeah, I don't, that, that seems weird to me. Yeah, yeah. Don't, it does. Don't. That seems weird. And people <laughs> always ask like, you know, why guys don't come to this? I'm just wondering. Like, why y'all think men don't show up for, like, speed dating? Speed or... dating seems like the concept for if you really was, like, that would be like a live tender. That would be like, we just trying to fuck. You just scroll over. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, scoot to the dance. Like, scoot to the dance. Like, that's what speed dating seem like to Okay. Me. That don't seem like the same as a mixer single. Yeah. I like, had one guy tell me that men don't like to be rejected. So that's why they don't come. Yeah, nobody likes to be rejected. I'm saying, I, I feel like, like no, nobody likes to be rejected. I was just talking but, about how there was a couple girls a long time ago that I said yes to because I ain't wanted to. Reject them. Like, I don't want to be rejected. I said, yeah, no, I'll be a boyfriend for two feel. days. I ain't going to do that. Then now we got to break up, my yeah, girl, because I ain't really like you. You're not really cute. But yeah, but, some some people can't deal with it more than others. I, it ain't yeah. never been an issue for me. Like You can get up in that thing and be chilling. And yeah, what's nah, this, up? I, want, I, I wouldn't go to a speed date. Nah, yeah, nah, this would you but, come to a mixer? I, I, if I was single, I would... A mixer sound like a good idea if I'm this single is, for real and I'm looking for somebody. I don't think you're a good barometer. <laughs> no, no. Why well, I'm not a good barometer? Why you're you actually you're a me? horrible. Oh, barometer. that ain't right. Like that a really right. bad one. I don't <laughs> explain yourself. Bob. Yeah, what you mean? He's, this is like of the people that you would know in your life and spend enough time with mm -hmm. around. He would be on like the Mount Rushmore of self confidence. <laughs> this man right here needs no help. <laughs> No amplifier, no, uh, no, no support system. He got an inner starter uh, peg just um, inside I of him. God, I don't, I don't know anybody right. that's more confident than him right. about everything. 
It, what, what, what can I do? <laughs> I can do anything. You put your mind to it. LeVar Burton taught me that shit when I was real little. I was real yeah. little. He was like, you shit, know, whatever you want to do, nigga, he'll you be can the, do it. He'll be the hot thing in there. He's, he, not, he's not a good barometer. And I have I have really cocky friends. I really do. Like, like I said, like the dudes, I, I thought, and it's weird because I really did think about this the other day. Like, I ain't cocky I, though, Emma. Yes. No, Emma? Yeah. Man, you sound like my whole life. I might be. <laughs> you say that about be. these kind of statements a lot. I might be. Yeah. But yeah, I, I know I know a lot of people that are very confident about themselves and have what they consider to be the track record to show there's a reason for it. Barring them knowing each other or not, this person <laughs> is not the right barometer for self-confidence at a mixer or any know. other type of situation. I appreciate it, Bob. Yeah, man. Hey. You, you know come in that truth. thing too confident. Yeah, no, nah, he's hey, I, maybe. Maybe I, you're confident. I That's why you I hang around confident no, people. I appreciate it cuz it, you know, it gives me something to strive for. I feel like I'm looking I, for that. I, I don't I know, know who I am. Is. They might not know who I am yet. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, yeah, you got to learn first. But yeah, I Y'all know me it. already. You get true who you are. Yeah. That's where the confidence comes from. Yeah. I already right. know me. Look, I'm trying to. You're going to get to know me. You're going to like What me. about you? Yeah. What would you come in like at a single mixer? You come in, you like you come in shy. Or would you yeah, have. No, I'm a shy person. I'm, I'm, I can see that. I'm, if I he know looking you, like shit. If I <laughs> no, know you, for real, for real. If though, I know I'm, you, I might be foolish. He ain't never seen me even be I foolish. I am shy okay. though, for real, for real. But if I know you, like I might be foolish around you. But in general, I, I'm more of a sit back and read the room kind of person. I don't really want to interject myself. In, in my experience, in most of my life, I don't need to put myself out there for mm-hmm. things to happen for me. <laughs> so I never really needed to take those. So I don't, I just be chilling. I I just go and chill because mm. if I do, if I do move like that, then usually it kind of becomes off putting to people. Well, I'm a little too much for people. I he, need like, you to come in. Right, I need you to come in. Exact, Bobby is a lot, exact yeah, right <laughs> amount of where the confidence can stop. That's why he don't think he cocky. Because if you, if I mean, you're no, an insecure I, I think person, I'm, I'm coming to he would come off as cocky. If you not, then you wouldn't say he's cocky. Mm-hmm. You would say he's extremely confident, though. But okay. he he stops right there. I think but I can still play the background. I, I, I can just come. I ain't really gonna put myself on front street until it's already time to be like, okay, they go Kato. You, yeah, you know how I go? They Kato. Like if I go somewhere, most times, like especially if it's me and Bob together, uh-huh. we both in the cut, and somebody gonna come over here. Like oh Kato, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I ain't. Just searching for it, but they they come fuck. They fuck with you. I, mm-hmm. Tell your bitch to quit smiling in my face. <laughs> I told you she almost he got a girl. crashed. Y'all she chill almost out crashed now. the other day. Man, okay. She almost crashed the other day. She just kept looking, and I I don't know why she was looking at me, but she, you better tell her. So what would you come? I'm gonna invite you. I'm gonna you send you a to personal. The then I'm y'all ex, come back and talk about it on your podcast. I'm gonna ask my bitch not go for for uh, research purposes. Yeah, <laughs> she, she not gonna talk about. It. She ain't gonna let you go. <laughs> that sound like a mixer. I got but, some but, shit you can mix, when, nigga. When is? We had the next one's gonna be August thirtieth. Oh, that's close. Yeah, that's a whole your, month away. Get your mix on. <laughs> it's just a vibe. Look, it's just a vibe. There's yeah, no pressure. Yeah, look how you look. Don't feel real. See you there. <laughs> I'm gonna send him a message. I'm gonna say like you said you were coming. Right. You gotta bring it back and yeah. talk about it. That was I'm gonna, gonna, that's gonna be the you. best I'm part. I'm gonna just do the background. Yeah. The back. Oh, okay. I'm gonna see. I'm not gonna mix. Oh, okay. You I'm just gonna, gonna see vibe and then come back and let me know how you like. That's all. Yeah. Oh God, no. Okay then. Bye, that's it. The so all your company okay. friends can put a little effort. That's the weekend. I'm getting the kids. <laughs> no, you already know that. Huh? No, no, okay. That's why he I like, let me check my schedule. Night, you know what I'm saying? I got to go get the, get got the kiddos. Oh, yeah. But yeah, pull you know up, put through that y'all can use on your podcast and y'all can keep talking about it. I'm really trying to create something in Huntsville that's not known. Like, people ain't Damn. really... And where the singles go to, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I don't know. I know there's a lounge or two that people go and act bougie in that ain't really got more money than anybody else. <laughs> Man, okay. I don't really know where they're at or why pe- what people do in there. I ain't been. I've been telling myself I'm going to go buy some clothes and I'm going to go to one of these places. But I don't do it. Yeah. They do the work. Keep trying to get me to go. They go to the cigar lounge. Yeah. Like, yeah, no. Nah, I, I can smoke a cigar at the house. 
And that too, because like I can't light a blunt in between what I'm doing. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. In between, like in the mixer. Whatever. I don't yeah, know. Anyway. It's a Most door. You can go, go on out and come back to like everybody else. They write out the it. door and come back in. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. By that time, the hoe gonna be talking about somebody else. Man, <laughs> damn, you here mixing with somebody else, man? I thought we was mixing. It's a mix and mingle. <laughs> okay. You just mingling. You just unmixed me in this motherfucker. <laughs> and then towards the I end, I said, yeah, <laughs> we mix and mingle. We play games and chill. I got a little mini pool table. They be talking about my little baby pool no. table. It's a little Uh-oh. pool table, a little, little cornhole. Okay. You be on there trying to look. run folks for their money. Uh huh. <laughs> no. no. Oh, you can in the back, though. Somebody probably get on that weed. No, then, no, that sounds cool. That's, I, I, maybe. I I'm, might. I'm like, and then is, you like this it portion. Is the week that I get my kids. They like. Yeah, no, I had, I had At the C. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I maybe pull up. I was saying. Like, and then at the end, we, we apply a little pressure. Okay, at the end. Yeah. After you the mix, you go pick what you. No, 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 no. no. Okay, that's after you then enjoy yourself, you turn the lights on. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy, turn your lights on, and then and then we do a little talk because I believe that people come in on the surface level, so it's like she fine as hell. You just saw her. You ain't gonna go up and like have no deep conversation. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, see, because now you gonna be like, hey, you woo. You got to be honest. Right. The ratio of women that show up. To men. No. Just women in general? Yes. Out of it's, the women that show up, the ratio of women that look good and don't look good. I, you want me to... I, yeah. This is not... Yep. I can't do that. You can't. Well, I think, first of all, I think everybody that has came so far has been beautiful women. And all of them have... Uh-huh. Have met yeah, or got a people, number. Some ugly people been. I'm gonna say some ugly people been. I ain't seen no ugly people. I bet they been there. They been there. <laughs> y'all gotta come in and let me know, like we what y'all see. We're gonna come the We're gonna come the back. Yeah, y'all gonna... I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> now you for the ratio. You gotta go up in there. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it, <laughs> women say name? the same thing. They like, no, oh no, well, we want somebody finding, you know, whatever. But the reason why we do the apply pressure is for that one reason. Because I feel like people are attracted to looks, right? First and foremost. Yeah. yeah. But the apply pressure at the end is kind of like these type of conversations. Well, like if just for me sitting here, I can vibe off y'all. I can kind of see how y'all is just from like little generalized questions. You know what I'm saying? Like how you how you think about dating? I would just say very outside of a box. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't like inside and stir that bitch up. That would not be you. Like you know what I'm saying? You think outside, so I would I would know that just from having this conversation with you. I, I think it allows people to have. A so. yeah, general yeah. sense without just looking at because she might be fine or he may be fine and then they talk they may be dumb mm. they may be cocky like this. damn she a, was I cute. I old manager. I'll never forget this. I ain't in on good terms with this man, but I'll never forget this. And somebody said before him, but he's the first one I heard say, uh, "No matter how fine she is, it's someone somewhere who can't stand her." Ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I heard that. Yeah. You right though. Somebody like, somewhere said that. That makes sense though. Yeah. You always got an enemy. But that's the part that I like. Cause yeah. I find it weird that like this one girl, she came in, she was so cute, and bubbly. She was like, I love my black men, my black shit. Just uh, all pro. Really they all right. lost, saw her as like a chill friend. She was seeing all the right things. When you got this one woman over the man, she's uh, definitely emotionally unavailable and combative as hell. They like, we like her. No. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute. It's the no. same thing with the ladies. This there, one what's dude. What's the age range of these people? 25. We done had 25 to about 50 that done showed up. Like, I ain't about to know. Mm-hmm. Oh, what if I go with an old lady from across the street? She's not going to be there. Oh, no. I can guarantee you. Oh, no. She's probably not. not. And I'm going to say that they like, 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 I don't want to go with somebody I know there. Well, then you can leave. Why not? Yeah, nah. Just don't go over you can get a, You can leave. Nah. I mean, they, it ain't like you got to stay. Most people that do come, they not coming. I feel coming. like I got to see it through. Yeah, you got to see staying. I then gotta, we go downtown after. We may go to Stella's. We may go out, like, you know, kind of chill. So I mean, then you get to know is. more Man. people. So most people single, they don't go out. So this is a time to kind of go mix and go to you like a little bar. You don't never go out, Bob. Shut up. I'm just saying, Bob. You don't never go out. Bob, pull up, Bob. <laughs> pull up, Bob. I'm going to be in your butt like, pull, pull up, Bob. Shit. All right, I might pull up. 
We don't mix and mingle. We'll see. We'll see what's happening. <laughs> I am a. I'm curious how you went from whatever whatever your childhood was in the country, barefoot, running around with your cousins and them, to selling sex toys. <laughs> Man, how okay. is that transition? Happen? People say that all the time. I think that that's always a weird concept. Was um, somebody in your family? Was a family friend? Was there a video yeah, or an ad? <laughs> I, have a, I had a cool aunt. I was going to say, everybody yeah. always got a naughty aunt. Yeah, so like, I think I turned into that. Somehow I turned into the naughty <laughs> aunt. The I'm naughty the family aunt. naughty aunt. Mm-hmm. Um, but the reason why, I don't know. I was um, When I told you I was in the Army, um, we did couple strength building and stuff like that was my job. But I noticed that they didn't really hit on the things that matter, like sexual connection and intimacy. And I was married at the time and having those problems. So I felt like we went to the church. We went to the chapel. We went everywhere looking for help with this issue. And it was just no help. You know what I'm saying? There was nowhere to go and say, like, I don't know how to connect with my partner. Or people who have addiction to porn or issues with not knowing I don't want to be touched I love this person I don't want to be touched all the time you know I, I want to use I, I love our sex life but it's getting boring we doing the same thing over and over again an addiction to porn. you know I, these I are things it sounds, it sounds so cumbersome or I'm going through menopause <laughs> you know or I'm having a baby and sex don't feel the same yeah. you know who the hell we talk to yeah. Like you, you ain't gonna talk to your homeboy because that's just gonna be uncomfortable as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't talking to your it ain't women may talk to their mama, but then now you're gonna go around like your mama know what we doing. Like, you know, like who do you hey, go to? Dog, I saw her get sold yeah. up after the baby. I don't really want to <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so people ain't really trying to have those type of conversations and I went through it. So it was more like that's where the passion started to like. I want to do it. But I was already selling toys. I was always like... So like, how you get to that? Freedom. I just always want to be sexually free. Like, I wanted to... I always been curious about... Since, like, watching a Disney movie? <laughs> like, what do, what do we No. About? Actually, my I asked, mom... I know look, gay, actually, I know my mom... I know that was like when she was little, she thought all the other girls was looking at Pocahontas, too. Yeah. And I thought that was hilarious. So I'm just that's why well, I'm Well, my, my mom business. is a big entrepreneur and she's she's owned plenty of businesses and she sings and she's a church woman, but she sold toys when okay, I was in there. So she the sold from pure romance. What the family influence. Yeah. Okay. So she did and I remember like going to a party and I saw how much she made. So when I was <laughs> older, they don't really switch up the product. So my friend invited she me. She was a dildo queen pin. Yeah. Man, oh, no, I'm the dildo queen pin. Oh, my mama man, was like, man, man. she was selling to the streets, baby. I was selling it to the world. I was okay, out here. Man. I was out here slinging toys, like, for real, for Y'all real. Y'all better learn some. Love, but. Put some respect on that name. Period. Okay, that's that master sex <laughs> expert around here. Y'all got any questions? Shit, master sex expert. <laughs> okay, But, man. yeah, my man, deuce was, like, starting. And my first time going to a party, like I was in the army, I was bored as fuck, you know, I wasn't in a, really wasn't in a great marriage, I ain't had shit to do. I was like, I want to get outside. This lady was like, well, you would love this, you make money. And I, my first party was like $900. Nice. After that, it was like, it's over, it's over yeah. now, yeah. I, I can do this. Oh, you know, I got the personality for I'm very like open, I ain't shy about it, I, I'll help whoever, and then that's where the passion kicked off. So I basically married... The passion of the army and wanting to help from what I was dealing with, you know, and trying to help other people, and did, it just kind of built this own self. Before the army, um, no, I did. I'm bachelor's in the military. Because a lot, that's a lot of women that I know that end up having something to do with or going to some type of sex party. They end up finding out about it or getting into it in college. It, it seemed like it was those same kind of years mm-hmm. for you where you ended up being like, no, nah, I'm a. Yeah, in you the maybe not in schooling at that time, but those same years of your life is when you be like, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see what this shit talking about. Yeah, I didn't think it was a career. That's yeah. what they don't teach. You know, like a lot of these things that we're learning about in, in building LLCs, like we've all been doing it right. way longer than yeah. us. You know, so then I, when I got out of the army and I wanted to build a career, I was like, "Oh, it's a college for this. I get some certifications for this. I so yeah, I'm right. gonna, I'm gonna get all. This. I can build a business for this billion dollar bit. Like, 
Okay, sign me up. So yeah, that's okay. where that came from. So now I am clinical, clinical um, trained, and I have the, the certifications and all those things to be sexual wellness. You got like plaques on your wall? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like they walk into the non-sex part and see plaques? Yeah. And they, <laughs> man, okay. It's, so it's the actual <laughs> office. And yeah, desk and behind me, you got all these plaques, and then they sit down on the couch. And it's kind of like... I would say sessions like therapy, but I'm yeah. not a therapist yet. Right. I'm in for my. That's masters. cool though, because a lot okay, of people. Man, shout and out I, to that. I think that um, I think there's a lot of people who try to figure out how to get into business or get into an entrepreneur type thing, and they never had anyone, especially in their family, to follow footprints of or get knowledge or information mm-hmm. from. And it's good to see that even someone who had. A lot of I, I'll say that a lot of times that's because no one before them did any of that. They're the first ones to do it. Even with you being a, a second generation of it, you still didn't necessarily have the blueprint to how to do it the way that you've done it. And you could see that it could still, you could still be in a situation where there's preceding knowledge and still have to figure everything out on your own, kind of. So it's good to see somebody come from both errors or both areas of doing that and figuring shit out to the point where you got plaques on you all for, mm-hmm. and you making legal legitimate money doing right. this shit like yeah. that's, that's the crazy that's thing a, a lot of people don't don't understand what it is because we don't teach sex and yeah. my mom didn't hide it but she also was at church and that's why like also I worked, was, was like in the military working with family life in the chaplain but I was selling sex toys because it was always just a comfortable space I guess Man, I just, okay. where you go? I'm in that thing huh? you where, where you go in the military um, what did I travel to yeah. Germany Fort Jackson um, Texas um, where else went to Dallas a few times we no deployments for me. I'm happy to say that, okay, but yeah, um, I ain't, I ain't never but I did go. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I want that part. <laughs> right. Um, but that and then uh, Fort Rucker down towards Alabama. So that's how I ended up back down this way. My last duty station was down towards Dothan. Because I know I know uh, Europeans in general seem to be a little more liberal about the sexual, just everything yeah. about sex. And, Amsterdam and the. Yeah. The red light, the well, red the, light you know, district. the red light districts or um, the little red cabins, like, like, just lit up. Like, they would just have a heart over it, and you could freely walk in and get sex. It, like, it's not illegal. Technically, yeah. for soldiers, it is. Technically. <laughs> really? Yeah, because we're still Man, under the, we're still under the govern of the U.S., yeah. so yeah. we couldn't go, but, you know, you but. You over there because we put you over there. You yeah, you the ain't no wild. damn German. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so they'll go to jail, but other than that, they were just very, like, new nudity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> you go to the wrong place, your new beaches and all that. You know, my friends used to pay good money to try to go to a new, they did new, they wouldn't be nobody over there, but old <laughs> people. <laughs> oh, nasty flag. Just out there living. Living their best yeah. life, I said that's a like, that's a dream for me. I want to go back when I get old and just walk around naked as hell, just oh, letting oh, it sag loose. Everybody. Yeah, said, okay. one day we was in the we was in the sauna and this white man came. His balls was just like, he was in my home, but like bro, like they, they, they don't they don't have like no gender stuff. So he just walked in. Him and his wife just came and they took their clothes. We were like, uh, like yeah, no. you know. So they very very. I'm finna go, man. What he say? Boy, you can't walk in these four lines. What we got going on? But now we finna get out of here anyway. We've been we appreciate you coming. Tell the people where they how to find you if they want to find you. How um, they can get in touch with you. Need a love experience. You can Google it. You can YouTube it. You can TikTok it. I mean, I'm on everything. Okay, the okay. same thing. WWW. I need a love Instagram. experience. Instagram, TikTok. I don't do Tinder. I'm not Tinder. Twitter. Okay. okay. Yes. She do um, do Twitter. I mean, Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do Twitter because I just never understood the app. But I'm not big pretty fan. much everything else um, in that form of fashion. You can find me at Need a Love Experience. And that's All where. Right. I'm okay. going to catch up with you and your homegirls next time. I'm ready to come paint. You do paint and sip too, though. Yeah, we headed there right now. Headed to humanity. You be having a naked okay, model man. in there? No, well, she did one time. I don't know, I don't like know about dude, this. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, but this time. 
time. Yeah, nah, I was happy no, no, not that. this one, not this one. <laughs> they just gonna vibe out. But the paintings are nasty or new, like you know, kind of sexy. Yeah. You know, you know, some yeah. some comes. And Y'all gonna see like me crazy. in the streets with Nita Love and a home. Y'all better because he gonna pull up and I'm drinks. Um, <laughs> they getting appetizers because I'm leave early. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we going nah. there tonight, you know. So yeah. it's gonna be a vibe. Yeah. I like, I like, I like teaching. I like training. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. We appreciate you coming through, man. Hopefully Thank y'all. you come back. Y'all a vibe. I have to bring y'all. What y'all think about doing y'all podcast live at um I ain't no thing. I ain't no at mind. the studio yeah, to get we, all these single we, questions? Yeah, we could do it. So, well, we spontaneous. I ain't in mind. I'm glad I can think of a good word real quick. Vince, I almost lost everything. Mind. We spontaneous. We'll do that shit. Yeah. Pop up on you. I ain't yeah. in mind. Yeah, yeah. y'all no more than welcome yeah. to stop in. Anything Most I got of this, going all on. this is pretty much getting kept. It ain't like we going for the cut nothing. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be a record. Of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go so, back yeah, and say yeah, and, yeah, and well, video cord you. Well be live. We don't be leaving nothing <laughs> gone for y'all. It's, we are. It's the Smoke Permitted Podcast. It's special sessions. It's Kato Jackson. I'm Bob Jacquez. That's Need of Love. 256-788-7339. Ask the smokers at gmail.com. We'll Amen. see y'all next time, man. We out this bitch. Smoke some bitch. Bye, Peace. Peace. <laughs> some bitch. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. This is for entertainment purposes only. Explicit motherfucking content. Parental guidance is strongly suggested. Pay attention to what your kid's doing on the internet. Subscribe, like, share, smoke for me the podcast. Let's get into the show.